gorgeous day out here on the water. My name is Kevin Carroll, I'm with Dominion Energy, and right now we are in what is the uh, ports of Virginia. We're on the Elizabeth River. We're taking a cruise uh, for IPF, which is a uh, conference which is built to support, you know, really the collaboration and working of the offshore wind industry. As you look around at the port infrastructure that we have here, obviously the ports here in Virginia have existed for decades and they've been on the really the leading edge of innovation when it comes down to, you know, being able to bring the uh, industries to the United States. Uh, right now, this port generates $242 million per day, and that is a tremendous amount. We're able to reach about two-thirds of the uh, United States consumers right here from the Port of Virginia. One of the container terminals here, a box that's offloaded from one of the vessels here, could be in Chicago in less than 24 hours. So when you think about the timing, when we talk about our economy and keeping things flowing, goods and services to human beings within in this country, it really is a tremendous uh, waterway and the men and women who work it are second to none. Why is this port so well situated for the offshore wind project? It's, it's the physical aspect of the port. It's the natural deep water. It's the lack of overhead obstructions that truly make it a, a region which is ready to support offshore wind operations of all sizes. That's from the wind turbine installation vessels, that's from the delivery of components, and that's also for the smaller vessels, for the crew transport vessels, and also for the service operation vessels. But what truly makes this region well poised to be able to support offshore wind operations is the people. It's the men and women who live and work here within the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that's from you know our government in Richmond. That is also from our men and women here in the port, the Virginia Maritime Association, the Hampton Roads Alliance. It's our team here at Dominion Energy. People have been able to see the tremendous value that offshore wind has to be able to bring to this country. To be able to bring 2.6 gigawatts of energy into our, our grid with the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Commercial Project is very incredible. It's enough power for 660,000 homes. And that's with no carbon emissions, that's with free fuel, which is obviously the wind, but it's also what it's going to be able to do for our job market, to create about 900 jobs during construction, up to 1,100 jobs during the operations. And that's not just for the Dominion employees who will be obviously taking care of the offshore wind turbines and making sure that we're delivering this clean energy to our consumers, but it's also from the supply chain. It's also from the port operations aspect of it. And it's also from the educational institutions who are going to be able to help grow this offshore wind industry for the United States. We are creating the first generation of offshore wind technicians, and I'm really excited to be a part of that and to be able to bring this uh, industry to the United States. What have we learned from the first two wind turbines? For, for the first two wind turbines, we have learned a tremendous amount. The original six megawatt turbines, which are 27 miles offshore of Virginia right now, the delivery of those components had to be done in Nova Scotia. So they were delivered to Nova, Nova Scotia and then brought on board. And that's where Dominion Energy really, for being very brave and stepping forward and taking part of this, really, this test project, was able to look and say, we really can't do that from an efficiency standpoint, from a safety standpoint. We need to be able to work this project here from within the port. And that's why I'm very proud to uh, announce it's the construction for the first Jones Act compliant wind turbine installation vessel, which is taking place now down in Brownsville, Texas. So that vessel will be flying a U.S. flag. It will have U.S. mariners on board and we'll be able to support our operations, not just here in Virginia, but the first two projects they will work on will be two projects up north. The, the, the aspect for me for being, you know, prior Coast Guard and also a prior Merchant Mariner, the fact that it will have a U.S. flag on it will be a, 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 a tremendous point of pride uh, for me. And I, and I think it really should be for a, a lot of Americans. Dominion Energy really is on the forward edge of, of really of taking hold of this industry and really making sure that we do it right.